Hello and welcome. My name is Wayne and this is video number one of my Worm Online Iron Man Challenge Let's Play. And so I have a new character for that reason. I'm here on the Haven server. I have not yet selected a server. There's one guy standing over here. Either a new player or a new character. I don't know which. It did say that there are a few people on Haven right now, so a few people about to start their new adventure. As you can see here, some people brought dirt with them to the gate. I'm not sure why they were holding on to that. Maybe they didn't even realize it. Of course, it was slowing them down. So what is the Iron Man Challenge? Well, the Iron Man Challenge is intentionally crippling yourself so that you don't have all of the advantages that you would ordinarily have with a new character. For example, there's a pile of items over here and it does look, let's see what's in here. Yeah, so here's an individual that's dropped their armor and their sword, but it looks like they've kept their tools. So the most prominent items that people will drop for the Iron Man challenge are their tools. And uh, you don't have to drop everything, though some people say if you go with just one item, then you're cheating. Uh, I don't share that same opinion, though. And I am going to allow myself a few items, but I'm also going to have a few strict rules for myself. So uh, rule number one, I'm only allowing myself to bring with me three items my steel and flint because it's just convenient you can start a fire without it but this just speeds things up a lot a compass so that i can so that i don't get lost i mean i may still get lost but it helps when you have a compass and a tent and the thing with the tent is you can't really drop it anyway i mean you can drop it but by the act of dropping it doesn't discard it it activates it. So I'll be holding on to that. I guess I could use it to patch up a wound because I think you can use anything cotton for that. But I'll keep it because it is useful. Of course, everything here is useful, but I'm still limiting myself. And uh, so this will give me a respawn point if I die, once I get to where I'm planning to live anyway. And uh, it will also serve as some storage. But it won't last forever, of course. It will decay. So everything else gets dropped, including my backpack with everything that's in it. I've dumped my leather, my armor in there and a few other items. I'll go ahead and I'll drop that right now. Put that into the, oh wait, no. That's strange. Oh, yes, I understand. And I'll go ahead and select all of this stuff everything even the pelt there we go so i have a group here called keepsake steel and flint compass and tent that's it we can close that don't need it anymore i'll walk over here so i'm not tempted my rules are pretty simple really um anything that i obtain i must obtain on my own so that means I can't accept any gifts from other players. That also means that if I see a pile of items dropped on the ground, I can't just walk over and help myself to them. If there's something in that pile that I want, I'm going to have to figure out how to craft it myself. Uh, I, can, I can loot dead mobs because mobs will just die on their own without other players killing them, so that's fine. However, if another player has done something to the mob, such as butchering it, then I can't take anything from that animal as a result of it being butchered. Because that would be receiving assistance from another player. Let's see what else. I also cannot purchase anything from the store, including silver or premium time. That doesn't mean that I'm forbidden from going premium. It just means that if I do so, it's going to have to be from silver that I manage to find or earn on my own. And I know my voice is a wreck. There's not much I can do about it, at least not today. If anyone happens to see me and is kind enough to offer me assistance in any way, 
I will have to politely decline the offer. And honestly, I'm not too familiar with uh, this style of playing, so I may have a rough time of it. I don't know. Originally, I was going to also say that if I die, then it's over. But I've rethought that, and I don't think I want to go permadeath mode. And I just realized I still have my tool belt on. Let me see. Let's, uh, let's bring this up. We'll unequip that. No tool belt either. That would be a fourth item. Kind of handy to have, I guess, but I don't need it. Although I might want it. Honestly, I don't know how well I'm going to do. Now, I thought about uh, using the Jackal server for this because from what I understand, the Jackal server by default has you start with nothing. And I kind of like that idea. But there are a few problems with that. One, I heard that the geography of Jackal is very rough. Two, um, actually several reasons, more than four probably. Two, uh, the server is not permanent. It restarts every six months. I think that's probably why not too many people like Jackal. Uh, three, you have to be premium in order to go to Jackal. Uh, also, I think, I don't even think Jackal is currently open. So while it might be better if I went to a server that I'm not familiar with, uh, the bottom line is, since I'm not going premium, I have to go to one of the other Freedom servers. And they're all small and probably not ideal for an Iron Man challenge. So that's why I'm yet again sticking with Xanadu. So there might be a bit of lag here and there. So while it's true that I will be familiar with the server that I'm going to, so I won't be at a complete disadvantage, at least I'll be familiar with my surroundings. Um, there may be some people that think, though, that's cheating. You have to go to some place you've never been before. Well, this is really the best option. Xanadu is really the best option for the Iron Man challenge simply because it's still pretty large and vast and it's not very crowded at all. So it's probably the perfect spot for an iron or the perfect server for an Iron Man challenge. This guy over here, he's thinking long and hard about, oh, he just made up his decision. I wonder where, I wonder where he went. It's a big mystery. All right, and where am I going? I guess it's time to get out of here. Actually, let me just one more time, just make sure. Yes, nothing there. And make sure I have nothing equipped here. We're all good. All right. Shall, should I allow myself to use the, uh, the beverage NPC at the starter town? I could allow myself that, right? Because, well, I don't know. Maybe not. I'll think about it. So where am I going? You know what? Does it, does it seem to you like these are backwards? Like the pre-existing islands perhaps should have been the uh, northern islands. The reason I say that is because of Xanadu. Xanadu is known for their tall mountains. And what do we think of in terms of the highlands? Well, the north, at least I do. So it seems to me that it would have been better if the new cluster would have been south and the pre-existing was north. And I, I always just naturally think of Xanadu as being in the north. Anyway, we're going to go with Xanadu. And I'm sticking with Linton, and that's because there's already a spot that I think would be a good spot for me. And the reason I say that is because I'll be squatting and won't have premium. So I have to be somewhat selective in terms of where I set up camp. Even though there's uh, a low population and it's a large server, I don't necessarily want to take up prime real estate because as a squatter, anyone could just come along and deed over that spot, regardless of my presence. And why did, oh, because I have to also say yes. Yes, I do. And we'll give it a few seconds here to load in. It's always a bit laggy first. Famous chessboard over there. And that's actually the uh, the passage to Jackal right there. 
but I just don't think it's up. Who's here? Salvador and Worse Wersen. Um, I'm not familiar with those names. Let me just spin it around here and get everything loaded in. And uh, let me see, this is north. Why does this look different? This looks a little bit different. I do know that a guy that lives nearby here has really built up the Linton markets up here. One of the few starter towns that still has an active marketplace. What about wells? Can I drink from wells? Hmm. Well, a well was built by a player, and that would be... I guess I could allow myself to drink, to drink water, right? What about security guards? I haven't really thought of that. I think I will make use of security guards if I need. It's, it's, I mean, if it's that or die, then I think I'd rather live. Is this the beverage guy? Where is the beverage guy? Is he over here? Trader Mints. Wait, what? Oh, that's just his name, right? I forgot where the beverage guy is. I hear someone smithing. How much should I record? I want to be fair in doing this, right? Because it's the Iron Man challenge. And if I, if I should have proof that I'm not cheating in any way. But at the same time, if I record everything... That could be a bit boring. Case in point, I did run around and I still could not find the beverage merchant. There's someone that has a little stand set up here, though. I think this may be fairly new. This isn't even the official market area. I've, I've never visited that merchant before. Oh, there he is. Barton. Man, he was right there. I didn't even see him. Okay. Ask for refreshment. That'll be the only time I get it. And it really didn't do me much good. But it did me a tiny bit of good. Because I already pre-created this character a while back. And I've only logged in a few times just to keep him active. Let me see. Uh, which, which way do I want to go? There's a few ways to get to the spot that I've, uh, I'm thinking of. I think I'll go this way. So I do still want to be on the water. Water is life, right? And uh, I need water as a source just for drinking. I'm not going to be able to build a well right away. What am I going to need? I'm not sure what priorities are. I'm kind of doing this blind too. I have a vague idea of what you need to do. It involves uh, foraging and rummaging. I think if you forge near, what's my forge hotkey? I've not done it in a while. G. I think when you forge at trees, then there's a chance that you'll get a branch and then you can Oh shoot, I may, I may have to look for a guide. Black mushroom, okay. Oh look, oh I should have showed you my skills first just to verify that I'm at ones. Here we go. Let me do this. Adjust that like so and I just improved my foraging skills and the nature skill as you can see right there and everything else is a one. It may seem silly that I have yet another character after just pre in a previous video commenting that I wanted to focus all of my attention on a single character. So here I am creating yet another character. I do need to... Oh, I just realized it's not snowing outside. It was snowing just earlier today. So I guess winter is over and there's a spider. But I do have all my newbie buffs including... Newbie aggro range. Decreased aggro range. So hopefully I'll be okay. And I have a nice speed with uh, how the hindrance of leather armor. Yeah, I think I'll go this way. I need to get through these mountains. And I know there's a road through here. I guess I need to... I'll adjust these tabs later. And oh, hmm, do I want to use the tunnel? 
I'll use the tunnel. Oh, maybe not. Is he coming out? He's coming out. Let's see where he goes. Maybe he drifts off to the side and then I can still use that tunnel. Okay, well, I guess he's not coming up the road. <laughs> what? That, oh, because he's on what would be a mine door, I guess. Should I just go for it? Oh, shoot. On my main character, I can so easily kill these guys now. They are not a challenge in the least bit. So I have to remember now that I'm a noob with no skills. I think that should be good. Let me see if I can sneak by here. And I could take that because that's a mob drop. But I don't want anything weighing me down just yet. Plus, it doesn't really do me any good to try to fight anything at this point. If I see anything, I just need to run. I'm not sure how long it will take me to get to my destination. Could be a while. But I do want to record the journey. Just in case I get killed off on my way there. Oh, look, a pile of items right there. Just trying to be aware of my surroundings here. Don't want to walk up on something. I do have to be careful once I get to my campsite as well because, of course, it won't be deeded, so anything can spawn right there, right next to me. And I will be kind of near water. So under some circumstances, I could retreat into the water, unless, of course, there's a bear or a croc. I guess the leaves haven't come in yet. I didn't I didn't realize that there was an element of the seasons in which after the snow went away that there were still no leaves on the trees. I wonder if there is still snow. Maybe the devs have this set up so that when you start as a new character, even if it's snowy, you don't see the snow. Because it's a bit strange that a few trees still seem to have snow on them and no leaves. Or maybe it's just a bug. There are no bugs in Worm Online. Of course not. Spiders over there. This is where you have to watch because there could be something one tile away and that you can't see. And it seems far away, but it's really not. It's just one tile. Okay. So I need to get I need to get through this pass. That should be interesting. You know what I do need? I need clay as early as possible because if I expect to cook anything that I find foraging, I'm going to need something to cook in. And I think that Oh, there's a spider right there. And I need to go that way, and there's a fence here. What's it look like over here? I don't know that my climbing skill is going to help me out much here. I could probably outrun that spider, though. The worst thing that could happen is that I get hit in the legs by something, and it slows down my movement. I think I might just go for it over here. Oh, there's a guard tower right here. My position in the server is not updated. Please move slower. But I'm literally standing still. Oh, Xanadu, you silly, silly server. Okay, now it knows where I am. All right. Let me, let me go up here. And then maybe I can get a running start. Yep. I'm going to have to run right past him. 
And then I'm not completely sure. I thought I heard footsteps. Made me panic. Okay, here we go. I don't care. I'm just going to go for it. Here we go. Hello, Spider. Oh, he saw me. He raised his legs. And not in the in the friendly way that jumping spiders do. But in the I'm going to attack you and eat you way. Is he right there? Oh, he's way back there still. Okay. All right. Oh, look. Someone made this lawn. That looks pretty fancy. Oh, I do not want to be messing with the scorpion. Okay, I need to get... I need to get to this bridge. Or I need to get to that bridge. I think either one will do. Let me go over here. And I do know that there is an issue when mobs try to get on bridges as well. So this will give me a bit of safety. Oh, oh, look at this hell horse. What kind is that? Here's another one. Molten. Oh, they look so cool. Okay, well. I shouldn't waste time here. I should take advantage, as much advantage as I can, of having the newbie buffs. Okay. There could be an issue here if something attacked me because I can't really go up. Not at a fast speed and if I went, if I ran down I would fall for sure and hurt myself and I don't have any climbing skill. Tight roads can be problematic as a new player. Although still better than the open wilds. This will be another fun video upload of just me running around. Some guy commented on my Harmony video number one. And he said, is this guy just trolling? All he did was run around and do nothing. Well, welcome to Worm. Worm can be a very slow paced game. Especially for me. I've literally spent more time exploring in Worm than anything else. It's my favorite activity. It's the reason why my main character doesn't even have great skills. It's because I've spent most of my time exploring. For me, it's a lot of fun. I guess we don't need this, do we? Give us a better view. This is new. Someone's gone all out over here with the slate building. Wait, is that a giant? A greenish troll. Okay, how far away? Should be good. Famous last words. Not seeing too many mobs around. That's good for me as a newbie character. Just want to see if he's noticed me or not. Probably not. No, I'm good. No problem. So without being able to go premium, that means that my skills will also be, will be capped at 20. And it's not that I can't go premium, it's just that in order to do so, I'd have to earn the silver on my own. And uh, either by selling items or providing a service and with uh, low skills, the only service I could provide would be stuff like maybe digging or mining, something of that nature. Can't see through here. So 
So that might not be feasible. And earning silver through methods like foraging and burying and, well, I can't sell to a token because I won't have a token to sell to. That's only a chance to get a silver and it's usually just a bit of iron you get and it's really not worth the time or effort. But if you had no choice because you simply could not purchase from the store, then I can understand why someone might do it. And I might be tempted to try it myself, with this character anyway. Oh, moving pretty fast down this hill. There's water down there through those trees. Oh, lava spider over there somewhere. This used to be a very nice deed. Well, maybe not very nice. It used to be a decent deed. And, oh, this is new. Has someone moved in? Let me just go take a peek over here. Nope. So someone's squatting for sure. I don't know if this is where I would squat, though. This is risky. If someone comes in here and decides they want the spot, they're just going to deed right over it. Of course, that can happen regardless of where you set up your camp. But if your intention isn't to deed, then you should be very selective. Pick a spot that's okay, that's decent, but maybe small. And that would be very difficult to expand. Oh, they've been doing quite a bit of terraforming here. Oh, I know this name. Where do I know that name from? I don't know if it's an alt of someone that I know or if it's an old player with a disbanded deed that I'm familiar with. And I'm thinking that. Hmm, I'll have to come back and inspect this later. But he's kind of doing what I thought could be done here, which was do a lot of aggressive terraforming in this area and make it decent. And he's definitely doing that. Although I think I would lower all of this so that it was even with this, except for one tile here as the walkway. But everyone has their own preferences. There's a lot of clay down here. I should just grab some right now. I, do, I don't have any tools, so I would not be able to improve the clay at all, unless it was just with the use of my, oh shoot. Uh, I don't have a shovel. Okay, well I guess I didn't think that through, did I? Well, that's all right. Let me just get to, wait, you can't gather this, right? Let me just check real quick. Select my hands. I don't think you can gather. It seems like you could gather clay with your hands, though, if we wanted to be realistic about it. But this is a game, and I know it has some realistic elements, but it doesn't necessarily mean that everything has to be true to life. Where are we at? 29 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. I spent about 10 minutes talking, so it only took me about 20 minutes to get here to this area, but I'm still not at the spot I'm interested in. Still can't figure out what's going on with the snow. Does it want to be snow or not? I'm tempted to just try swimming over there rather than walk around. It looks like someone's been building over there as well. I wonder if that's deeded up. I 
there's some rock surface here. Let me just um, rummage. I think I need, it's either iron or rock or maybe both. Maybe I need both. I believe the idea is that you rummage and forge for some raw materials and then you can make some very rudimentary primitive tools with that. And there, there's a bit of iron right there. And then you use the primitive tools to uh, make the better tools. But I'm not completely sure of the recipe, though I bet I could just find it right here. Let me see, crude, okay, crude shaft, crude knife. How to make a crude knife. Rock, iron, and stone shards. Oh, okay. I just have two pieces of iron right there, so I just need to find some rock sh or stone shards. And I believe you can get those by rummaging on rock. All right, so that should be fairly simple. Let's try this one too while we're here. I guess there was a little road here leading down from that deed. And uh, more iron, okay. Well, I have three pieces of iron anyway. No way to, uh, no way to start a fire yet. But if I get one shard, then I think I can uh, make that crude knife. And then I bet you that I could use, it's just a rock. Then I bet you I could use that. Oh, okay. We'll keep moving right along. Anyway, as I was saying, I think I can get a fire going. Then once I get a fire going, then, hmm, what then? I don't really know what my priority should be. Someone is definitely here. This is all new. And look, they even put up a banner. They're gardening. This is fairly recent. Got themselves a bunch of tiki torches going. They're definitely setting up. Anything here? Nope. Well, the spot I was thinking of is relatively close to here, but should be out of sight. So we'll have to see what happens here. And no claim. They're building themselves a Corbita. Okay, I'm going right up here, and this is where I'd like for my camp to be. I may have to move, because this is pretty close to where this other guy is, but we'll see what happens. He's squatting, I'm squatting, everybody's squatting. Nobody's purchasing deeds anymore. No, that's not true. I think most people have deeds. I'm trying to remember if that's been here forever or not. Let's just make sure here. Well, it won't matter if there's anything in here anyway, right? Let's just take a look anyway. That way, if I suddenly end up with anything in here, oh, well, I can't open it anyway. It's locked. But it's not secure, so I can push it, right? Look how slow it takes when you're not on the deed. So it's locked but not secured. And there used to be... So you see what I mean. So this is a small area. And if you wanted to claim, I mean, you could. But you don't have a lot of land to work with. It would be highly terraced. Kind of like my Dawn's Light deed that I have. So for most people, this wouldn't be worth it. And so that's what's making me think that it might be a good place to squat because it's, it's still decent. I can kind of work with this a bit. Sometimes when I hit a lag spike, I think it's because something just spawned. 
Last thing I need is for a troll to spawn right on top of me. This grass all looks like it's lawn. I think there's a visual bug. I should be able to see snow. Oh, there's some more rock surface right there. Oh, and rock surface right here as well. Let me just peek inside. Oh, there's iron right here. Oh, shoot, a goblin. All right, let me get out of here. Is he gonna follow me out? Let me see. Hmm. Oh, he is following me, all right, all right. My first challenge, no, my first challenge was getting here alive. Now my next challenge is to get rid of this goblin. Oh, look how slow I'm moving. Is this the path down? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, behind the tree. Come on. Come on. Down here. I would like to have a weapon, even though I don't think it would do me much good right now. I certainly can't fight much of anything, even with a weapon. Okay, this way. You see me? Over here? Come a little closer. There you go, right to the edge. Oh, he's within reach, he's gonna hit me. All right, now let me go around. See if I can sneak up past him. How long do I have here? 22 hours and 46 minutes. Okay. Man, I wasted a lot of time. I created this character early, and then I kept on logging in every once in a while. And then I would just kind of stand there and do nothing on Haven. And I've wasted a bit of time doing that. But that's okay. All right, now you just stay down there, all right? You can die any day you want. Just leave me alone. Oh, man, it's hard being a newbie. Everything you see can kill you. It can even be a challenge to just kill something like a chicken or a cow. All right, let me go check out this mine once again, or at least try to see what the situation there is. Logging in can be very dangerous too. I, I guess I should log out down by the water. That way if I log in right next to something, then I can just run in the water. Oh, there's still a bear here. I thought I saw a bear the first time, but then I thought I was mistaken when it was a goblin chasing me. Wow, okay. Do you see me, bear? He's aged. All right, well, I think I can probably make use of this mine, but not yet. Let me see if there's any uh, shards here. And then I think I will go ahead and end the video here. See if I get lucky. If I get shards, then I think I can make the crude knife. Nope, just more iron. I'm getting plenty of iron. Oh, look at that QL. Look out. Woo. 2.16. I'm styling now. I can make something epic with that. 
I could check over here too, I guess. Should I do that now? Okay, I'll do this. And then I'll end the video. And I get a bit of climbing skill. Nothing creeping up on me. We're good to go. This area looks picked clean. Okay, fine. Come on, RNG, give me a stone shard. That's all I want. For 2021, I just want a stone shard. Ah, oh, stone shards. Well, hallelujah. Okay, let's see if this works. Stone shard. And we'll go ahead and use iron. Look at that, a crude knife. 50% chance. Let's try as often as we can. Uh, nope. Oh, and the amount of materials is too small. Oh. Okay. That's because I don't have... And I can't combine this because it's not hot. Alright, no problem. We'll try it with this one. Actually, I could just put them all in there, right? I'll do it the slow way. Taking my sweet time here. Crude knife. Well, looky there. I was just about to bring it down on my tool belt and I remembered I don't have a tool belt. But that's okay. Will this thing actually work? Well, I can't use it to chop down a tree with. But I could use it if I if I forage. Um, oh, see, there is still snow here. Hmm. But if I get lucky and get a branch, then I think I can use the knife on the branch to get some kindling, and then I could start a fire. Oh, look at that. First one. So let's see. Let's go ahead and create kindling. Oh, boy. All right, let me go down here. I don't want to do the fire up here. I guess I'll go center because there's a bear to my left and a goblin to my right. All right. Um, where is my... Create campfire. It's been a while since I made a campfire. I wasn't even sure how to do it. And look at that. I got myself a campfire. Let's see if I can't put those that iron in there and smelt some iron and then do something with it. I'm not sure. Actually, can I use my crude knife to... Oh, here we go. Crude shaft. Why would I want to do a crude shaft at 47% chance when I can do just a regular shaft at 100%? We'll go for that. Oh, I need a fresh branch. All right. Well, I think I'll go ahead and end the video there. It's been right at 45 minutes, and that seems like a good spot to end. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I do intend for this to be a, little, a nice little playthrough. How often will I record? I don't know. If you're watching this video right now, then that means I'm probably sitting on at least a few videos that I'm ready to upload. But I won't do them all at once. I'll stagger them a bit here and there. And we'll see how things go. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.